last time we visited the Flood Cult, we made this really awesome diorama that was very Halo 2 inspired, this really creepy door with the flood being inside. Now, a lot of you guys wanted me to do inside of this actual diorama, and I was gonna do that to where I could connect it both together, but for today's Flood Cult project, we're gonna be doing something a little different. We're gonna be doing a Flood Cult experiment. Basically, it's going to be a really cool flood experiment video, and it's gonna be in kind of like a village, and it's gonna be really sweet. I had to select a few figures that I wanted to work on for this project. I grabbed some bins of figures and started looking around. Finally found a bag that I thought had the right figures inside. I want to get a ton of marines, mainly for, well, the proto grave mine and also because some of them are going to just be miners. Then I also need to grab some elites. Now I'm gonna be mixing up some green stuff. This is a two part epoxy that I get off Amazon and eBay for anyone who's wondering. Super good material, air dries, awesome to work with. Just make sure you wear gloves. This is going to be our little baby proto grave mine. We're just gonna use this cheap knockoff Mega Constructs figure and wrap him with tin foil so we don't have to use an absolute ton of green stuff. Continuously just wrapping him with tin foil until I feel like the thickness is right, and then I grab some green stuff and I spread it out in my fingers to really thin layers so then I can apply it more easily onto the actual tin foil. I didn't want to have to use a ton of green stuff on this project for this guy, so I made it as thin as I possibly could. Then I'm just using water and this cheap brush and I'm just going around and smoothing out the areas and also just making it look a little bit more clean with this technique. Now I'm just going to be using this little green stuff worm and slowly applying it all the way around the proto grave mind. This is just going to make it have a little bit more of a different kind of texture and I wanted to kind of make it seem like it had veins running across it so that's what I did. Then I'm chopping up these heads and just applying them right onto the proto grave mine with a little bit of green stuff. Also with some legs, foot, hands, pretty much just anything I could use from the marines just to make this thing look even creepier. I just connected two arms on each side and then I started adding other aspects like feet and some more heads. Nice thing about the marine heads though, if you split them right in half you get two uses out of them, which is nice. Then we're moving on to the elite's feet. Now we're just going to be adding a little bit of green stuff on each toe, sculpting it to look a little bit more flush and then carving in little bits of detail. Then this is going to be the thigh guard. Added some green stuff onto each one of the thighs and just kind of sculpted it with my hands. Then just used my X-Acto blade and carved out what I wanted for the detail. Now moving on to the chest, I wanted to make kind of like a Halo Reach Zealot looking chest. But... So I just added a little bit of green stuff onto each side and this gave me a little bit of practice which was nice and I slowly sculpted it to shape. Then I'm gonna add these kind of weird pieces that are going along his shoulders. I didn't really know what I was going for on those, but I just thought they looked really cool, so I did it. 
I also added a toothpick and just added holes and made the gap in between each one of those lines a little bit bigger. Adding a little bit more detail with my X-Acto blade and then moving on to one of the infected miners. Since I used so many of the other heads on the bigger proto grave mine, I just kind of made his own infected, weird looking head, and I thought it turned out okay. It definitely could do better next time, but it was pretty fun. I also gave him little, little bits of hair, like he just got infected, and then I just sculpted away at the detail, which was just basically, you know, normal flood detail. Now we're using the toothpicks for the claws. This is a great technique that I love to use, and I'm adding a little bit of green stuff on those breaking points that I use to bend the claws, just so they hold up a lot better later on. And then I attach them right on, just like that, and I sculpt it around the area a little bit to make it seem a little bit more flood looking. For the Elite, I'm going to give him a little bit of a cape in the back. I just thought this would be interesting since maybe he's a higher up Flood Elite cult member, or maybe he's a leader, but I wanted to give him a cape in the back. Then we're moving on to some chains for the Proto Grave Mind. I want this guy to seem kind of like the original Proto Grave Mind I made with my first Flood Cult project. So I just added chains all around him, and I really liked how it looked. Then I just continuously sculpted around in these little extra patches of green stuff that I made to add a little bit more texture and detail to the big proto gray mind. Also adding claws onto each side to make him look even crazier. Now I'm going on to the Elite, and I'm just sculpting his mandibles here. And then I'm going to give him kind of like a Heretic Elite um, breathing mask, since he is always around the Flood, and with the Flood spores, these Elites have to have breathing masks, or probably get infected by the Flood right away, so... these really weird eyes and one of them's offset and I kind of did that on purpose um, just to make him look a little bit more goofy and weird. I don't know, it was just how I was feeling at the time, but I really like how this guy turned out. Now we're moving on to the diorama a little bit itself. I had to figure out what I wanted to make for this and I figured I was going to make a house that the miners were keeping all of their goods in, or maybe that's where they work, and that's kind of their break area, or whatever it may be. And I decided it was going to be made out of stone and steel. So I started carving in a ton of brick line detail, using a tinfoil ball to add that detail, and then this is just a piece of cardboard that I ripped off one side, and that's going to be the metal grates. The house was really simple to make, and I thought it turned out pretty cool looking in the end. We're just adding on the two roof side pillars. And we're closing up the back with a piece of styrofoam, not brick lead textured, so it's another just piece of concrete. We're also adding some of that metal grating up on top of the roof. Very simple shack. Just clean that up a little bit right there. The door, I wanted to add a tiny bit more detail, really not too much more, but just a tiny bit more. I also added some scratch marks into the door from that big proto grave mine just coming and hacking and slashing at it. The thing with the side of the wall. And on the other side as well. Now 
we're just going to be gluing it down to the diorama. Now, I just started by sculpting out this piece of styrofoam, how I wanted this to look. So I'm just taking a big knife, taking chunks away, and carving and basically ripping off pieces in just different areas. That's just how I make my rocks, and it's pretty simple. And I did that a few times around, and then I made these smaller sections for little crystals that the miners are mining in this area. Just applying these little hot glue crystals that I cut up in specific shapes, patching them all along these other pieces of styrofoam that I had edge cuts in. Just to make them look a little bit more interesting than all being straight up. And I decided I wanted to take a lot more off of this wall just to make it more interesting. And now we're moving on to some black paint. So I just poured it right on because why not? Didn't need to waste any black paint by pouring it on something else. And I just continued to paint everything with a nice black base coat. Now moving on to the actual flood texture color. I'm just going to be applying it onto the proto grave mine here in stages. I didn't do it all at once since he is so big. I did it in like three or four coats and then I went over it with a few more coats later on. Also painted up all the green stuff on the elite black just for the base coat so everything was going to be the same and then I went back later with a different color. Now I'm going to be adding some purple onto the Elite. Pretty much just base coated all of his armor in purple and everything that I made with green stuff in purple for the most part. And then his cape is going to be a different color and some other parts on his face was going to also be a different color. I really like this purple. It just felt very Covenant, but also at the same time just different than the Covenant. Now we're going to be adding on to the cape with a nice red. Pretty much just going to be coloring it in red and then adding white highlights later on. Nothing really fancy for the cape, but I like that it's there. I'm gluing in some of these other pieces here of the wall that broke down and then I'm re-gluing in the door at an angle like the big proto grave mine chopped it down and was trying to get through very badly. Then we started with a gray base coat on the walls and then we're going to be doing a silver one for the metal grates. And we also did a gray coat for the rocks. Now we're using some silver here and we're just gonna be applying that to the door and then also on the roof and then on the sidings as well. Definitely like how that's starting to look. And then we use a white dry brush and just went over all that gray that we did earlier. Now this is going to have a wash over it later as well, so it's going to look really nasty and old, which is good.
rocks with a little bit of a white dry brush. Sorry about the lighting in any of these areas. I still have to work on my new setup just a little bit more to make it perfect, but it's getting there and I'm very happy with it so far. Now we're gonna be adding some white PVA glue or school glue all the way around this diorama. And then we're gonna be pouring on a ton of brass flocking to just make this thing look a little bit less gray, black, and white. And we're just gonna be applying on a ton of this Woodland Scenics grass flocking. I found this on eBay. I pretty much find all of my supplies on eBay or Amazon. So if you're ever looking for anything that I might use in my videos, you should check those places. Then I'm hitting it with a white PVA glue mix. And this is just water and PVA glue that I'm shooting out of the squirt bottle. Now we're gonna be hitting the building with a little bit of yellow. And this gets into all those little nooks and crannies. Just helps bring out some more detail. The top I just dry brushed on a brown and a black and that just made it look a little bit more dirty and old. I wanted to make this thing look dirty and old the best that I could. Going back to the Proto Grave Mine, I'm just going to be doing a different shade on the actual Proto Grave Mine now that we have the base coat on, so just another shade of a darker kind of flood texture. Then I also went on with different flood texture colors. And then I use this really nice wash that I have to just really spruce up and bring out all those nice textures that's in the green stuff. Silver for the mouthpiece and the tubes. Also gonna be adding a little bit of blue lighting various areas like on his leg guards and on his chest pieces and also some silver on his toes and a little bit of white edge highlighting on various areas around him just to make him seem a little bit more interesting and like light is always hitting him in these areas definitely trying to get better at painting and doing more little edge highlighting and little tips and tricks like this helps a ton in that process for the crystals, we're gonna be making them blue, and then we're gonna be going over with a white dry brush to just kinda of hit all those little details and highlights, and that's pretty much it for those. for the mongoose. I wanted to have this mongoose slash ATV be on the ground like the big flood cult destroyed it. Alright guys, here is the diorama. Very interesting one. You have this elite right here. Now he's a flood cult elite. I'm not sure if he is a flood cult leader or if he is just a lackey or just kind of a normal elite. You guys will have to let me know in the comments down below. And uh, I don't think he has a name, but if somebody wants to name him, definitely put that in the comments down below as well. He's really cool, I think. He kind of has a Halo Vela chest piece with uh, almost pads on the side of his chest armor and then some pretty cool legs, I think. Looking toes, that was pretty fun. I enjoyed making him. Then for the baby proto grave mine is what everybody's kind of called. Um, this is an interesting one because he's going to be obviously a part of the flood cult. He's just real interesting. I gave a lot of the I wanted to add chains like the original grave mine that I made, the proto grave mine that kind of looked like him. Uh, I got this idea for the arms from Wildfire. That was really nice. 
and he's really cool I think really creepy with all the faces and all the other humans that he's absorbed and now I mean looks like they're gonna take him to the flood cult base and this guy's kind of leading the way it's the idea and then they have one of their buddies that just got infected in the back so it's kind of a bad day for these two miners. This is supposed to be a mining facility, and basically they're mining these blue rocks and their ATV. I'm not gonna say mongoose, I just didn't have time to like make an ATV or something, but their ATV got flipped over, and uh, this was like their little shack that this dude hack and slashed away. All in all, I'm very happy with it. <laughs> that was a very detailed diorama. My next project is gonna go back to Halo 2, guys, so definitely be looking out for that. And also don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new here. It helps me out a ton in making this kind of content. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have for me today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed this nice little diorama and cool custom figures. And I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great rest of your day, evening, or night. Peace out.